Hello everyone, Sparks here with another video. Today's video is another Skyrim build. Today's build is Link from the Legends of Zelda. This is my remastered build of him. I made a Link build a while back. Uh, also, as you can see, this is a modded build. So all the mod ops named and name of the mod will be down in the description like always for these builds. Uh, for these videos. Um, with that being said, let's get into it. As you can see, this ra uh, this build raise is a high wood elf, not high elf. I don't know why I made him a high elf last time. Don't remember the reason. Anywho, backstory on how he got to Skyrim. Well, exploring a dungeon, Link stumbled upon a portal. Uh, portal uh, Link did not know where it went so he decided not to enter it and I was about to leave when he was knocked into it by an enemy and when he got knocked into it the portal shut and he found himself on a road in front of him was soldiers clad in blue armor. And before he knew it, he was on a cart to Helgen. Weapons for this build are Arya's bow, upgraded to legendary, crossbow, upgraded to legendary, four and bolts, master sword, upgraded to legendary. Uh, Sun Hollowed Elven Arrows. Also, one spell, Fireball, to replicate uh, Link's bombs. Anywho, let's get to apparel. Hero's Boots, Hero's Cap, Hero's Glove, Hero's Tunic, all upgraded to Flawless, and High Hy Alien Shield, upgraded to Legendary. Uh, you can find when you once you install the mod, you can find Link's armor in the mid and dark, in the icy cave portion of the mid and dark, in a chest called the I think Forgotten Heroes chest, and it adds in two other uh, suits too: his blue version and his red version. But in mid and dark, it's where you find the green version. Uh, let's get to supplies. Just your standard health and stamina potion. And the standing stone for this build is the lover stone. <coughs> um, so let's get to skills. Skills for this build you want are... In one handed, you want... All five ranks of orange men. Fighting Stance, all three rings of Bladesmen, Critical, Charge, Savage Strike, and Paralyzing Strike. In Archery, you want all the perks. In Light Armor, you want all the perks. In Sneak, he's kind of sneaky sometimes. You want all five rings of Stealth, Backstab, Deadly Aim with your bow, Muffled Movement, and Light Foot. And lock picking, you want all the perks. I kind of debated on this one too because he always finds a key to open a door so I'm picking it himself. But some doors in Skyrim don't have a key to them, so you have to lock pick them. And most chests in Skyrim don't have a key either. So I went. I gave him the lock picking skill. Um, let's see. Da, da, da. In destruction, you want novice destruction all the way up to adept destruction. You also want both ranks of augmented flames and intense flames. Um, did I do smithing? 
Probably not. Uh, in smithing, you want steel smithing all the way up to elven. You also want the arcane blacksmith perk because Aria's bow is enchanted, so you would need this to improve it. It can improve magical weapons and armor. Um, now I think that's it. Maybe? In the block skill, you want all the perks. Okay. Now for Magicka, Health, and Stamina. Once you get 200 into Magicka, stop putting points in it. And then just focus on to focus on Health and Stamina. 50-50 uh, on the Health and Stamina after you get Magicka up to 200. Um, let's see. The house you be staying in. Um, let's see. If that one could be good. I guess Breeze Home. Simple beginner's house, and he's not going to be living with anyone. Okay. Breeze Home. Uh, factions for this build. Let's see. Hmm. What build would Link, what faction would Link, Link join? Hmm. For the Civil War, Link might join the Imperials. Not sure about that. I guess for Civil War, Imperials. For the Dawn Guard DLC, join the Dawn Guard. Oh, it's getting dark. You can do join the College of Untold if you want, but you don't have to. Don't join the Thieves Guild. Don't join the Dark Brotherhood. You can probably actually destroy the Dark Brotherhood if you want. Um, don't join... Well, you did become a wolf in that one game, right? Or could transform into one. I guess you could join the Companions if you want. That's optional. Mm, let's see. And don't don't join the Bard College. Actually, is he in Windmake? No, Win Windmaker. No, that's not the name of the game. He has a uh instrument. I guess you could join the Bard Skull if you want. You know, you don't play any instruments in that. It kind of sucks. Anywho, recap Civil War, Imperials, Dawn Guard, Dawn Guard. Uh, joining the Companions is optional. Joining the College is optional. You can either. Destroy the Dark Brotherhood or leave them be. If you leave them be, they're going to keep sending assassins after you, which is annoying. So I recommend destroying them. And don't join the Thieves Guild. Also, it's optional to join the Bard College if you want. Don't have to. Did I say the Canyons? Yeah, that's the beginning one. Okay. Now, followers. Mm, Link doesn't have followers, but he does have a horse. That being said, let's get hold on. Let me, uh, I hate it when it's dark. 
There you go. Okay. Now. Okay, we're right next to a. Uh... Look at that sun. Not this time, ugly. I'm the hero of Hyrule. Whoa. Ow. Okay. Nice. Really? Can't wait to count out your cool. Can't wait for you to die. There we go. I missed epically. Okay. Back back to Master Sword. Donut. Oh God. Okay, I suck at this. Yeah, you better start running. Uh, yep. No, oh, I don't want the crossbow. There you go. Okay, I think that would be the video. Uh, let's... Well, with that, if you liked the video, hit that like, subscribe, and notice everybody. Get notified of new videos I upload. And I see you spark tears in the next one. Goodbye. Look at that.